Mabu, hi guys! Welcome back to the AZ Garden Triangle. Today we're cooking Nai Nai's famous Lumpyang Shanghai. These are our ingredients. 2 pounds of 80% lean ground pork, 2 eggs, Menlo wrappers, thanks to Nene and Emma for recommending these, One medium onion, two medium carrots, one bundle of parsley, pure ground black pepper, salt, garlic powder, sesame oil, nor and nor liquid seasoning. And we're using a rival chopper to make our chopping faster. Now it's time to chop our carrots. We're chopping them into smaller pieces so that we can put them in the chopper. I got my knife skills from watching Nana in the kitchen since I was a baby. And as I grew up, Nana involved me in the kitchen. I've learned a lot about kitchen safety and knife skills from life skills class as well. And now at a young age, I can prepare meals for my family. And now it's time to put the carrots in the chopper so they can be chopped. Well, what else does the chopper needs to do than to chop it? Well, it's time to put the rival to the test. Yeah. How effective it is. Will it make the... Carrots full again? Or? <laughs> no, no, I wasn't bashing. I was just for fun. Okay, no Sorry, bashing. small loud day. We borrowed your thing again. No bashing, just for fun. Yep. Okay, cover it. Send the cover. Yeah. It. Make it that. Make it. Okay. Uh, well, that hurts. And now it's time to add the rest of our carrots. The carrots are now chopped to the desired size. Yeah, check it properly if there's like bigger chunks of it so that you can do more. Yeah, I did. Okay, it's ready. Time to put it in the bowl. Okay. So the rival works. Yeah, it didn't turn them whole again. Okay. Yes. Looks good. So I did good with the chopper? Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. Okay, now it's time to chop the onions. You know guys, onions don't make me cry because I have a secret that my nana shared to me. After peeling the onion and cutting in it in half, rinse the onion to remove the juice that causes eye irritation. Now it's time to put the onions in the chopper. Now it's time to chop the parsley. <laughs> oh, what happened? Did you cut your finger? No, the parsley is making me cry. Oh my goodness, you're so funny. <laughs> I'm going to do this to make music before putting it in the chopper. 
Do you see how nice the veggies are being chopped? I think I really like the rival. We got this at Walmart on Black Friday. It's definitely worth the five dollars that we spent on it. After chopping all the vegetables, it's time to mix them together before we put our seasonings. We add one and a half teaspoon of garlic powder. And now finally, after so long, we finally have magnetic measuring spoons. If you are thinking about getting me a Christmas gift, I am always open to kitchen items, especially stand mixers. What? <laughs> what? I want the stand mixer. Okay. Now we add half a teaspoon of pre-ground black pepper. Oops. Oh god, uh, it's fine. It's not that much more. It's not salt. It's gonna be spicy. Well, it's fine. Next is our one and a half teaspoon of salt. Oh, I should show the salt. Okay. We use Morton iodized salt. Mm -hmm. Wah! And this is why we're doing that over a plate now. Yeah, and it's not good to overdo the salt because yeah. you don't want it to be too, too salty. salty. And then we're out also adding something else that has intense salt levels. Yes, okay. Okay, and now it's time for sesame oil. Product of Japan as well. Made in Japan. Yep. This is what really gives the lumpia the good flavor. We're putting in one tablespoon. You can add half more. Okay, I'll add half more. For added flavoring. Okay, I'll do that. Now is our Nora liquid seasoning. But, since we still have some from the last time we cooked, we're going to use that instead. We're putting one tablespoon of Nora liquid seasoning. I think you can add another tablespoon for added flavoring. Okay then. Then I always exaggerate the recipe. Well, that's the secret of having an intense flavor. But then sometimes you complain about the flavor. Well. Now it's time to mix the ingredients. Well, uh, mix the ingredients in one direction. Okay, like this? Um, uh, could I... Like that, maybe? What one direction? Like, like that? Like that, yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You got it. That's the way to do it. Okay. That is a useful skill. Mm-hmm. And now it's time to crack the eggs. The eggs act as a binder. When handling raw eggs or raw meat, always wash your hands immediately after. This is to help prevent the spread of bacteria. Uh, Nanai, can you help me with the meat? Sure, I can. Okay. Because I don't really know how to handle yes, raw meat. This is the way to do it. Okay. Make sure you're not touching the meat at all. Okay. And use gloves when mixing them together. Okay. To avoid having messy hands. Okay. Or getting any hand bacteria in the food. And this is the way you hold the bowl. And then you rotate it? Rotate it also. Okay. Mixing all of the ingredients. Together good? Together is the secret of having a very, very good flavored... Uh, lumpia? Lumpia. And that is what not to do. Yeah. You should always hold it with one hand. Mm -hmm. 
so that stuff doesn't fly everywhere and it stays in place. Mm-hmm. Well, now let's separate the wrappers. This is my first time doing this. I am scared. You can pull it, pull, pull it more. But what if it tears? No, it's strong enough. I oh, oh, pull, okay. That's the way to do it. Oh, pull it okay. Like that. Okay. Pull it. Okay. <laughs> Am I being too careful? No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't break. Okay. So that was so satisfying. You uh, cannot okay. find the edge. Uh, I can't find the edge. Uh, never mind. Found it. Yeah. Why is this one being so strong? I think you're taking two. Oh yeah, that makes pieces. sense. Yeah, I'll just separate those later. You can separate them later. Yeah, yeah, plus having only two at a time will make it easier. Okay, okay. it's time to wrap. Okay, can you teach me how to do this? Mm-hmm. Okay. So that's the way to do it. Put a okay. tablespoon. And then shape it like a log? Yeah, like more of like a small sausage. Okay. Then okay, and then fold, the fold it like that? Like that. Okay. okay. Doing it good. Okay. And I explain. have to roll it really tight? Yeah, explain what you're doing. I have to roll it really tight. Don't forget the sealant. Then I, what do you mean sealant? The sealant. Then I, that's egg wash. Sealant is for like roofs and walls. Well, that's the way I can say it. <laughs> egg wash is the right term. Show, show your product. Does it look good? Yes. Perfect for a eee. first time. Do it again. Okay. But don't forget to cover the wrapper. Oh yeah, so that it doesn't get dry. Now for my second lumpia rolling. This is really fun to do. Yeah, make sure same amount of meat. Yep, I'll make sure that it's always going to be the same amount. Or at least as close as possible to the same amount without weighing it. Okay. Okay. Do I tuck it under like that? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then fold, fold it. it. Like that. It's sort of like a paper. Mm-hmm. And then fold it like that and on the other side. Explain what you're doing. And then roll it really tight. Rolling it tight makes sure that none of the filling gets out when frying. And now your egg wash. Yep. Not sealant. <laughs> of course! Washing! I'm sorry, Small. We keep stealing your thing. Show it again. It, oh, I forgot you to show it. it. But, like, that was a really good one. Yeah, cover, cover it. Yep. Always going to cover it. Put the same amount of meat. I think I didn't get enough that time. Put more. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get more. Yeah, I don't think that's enough. Yeah. Yeah. I think you can add more. Yeah, I'm going to add more. Uniform size yeah. lumpia? Yeah. Always feel free to get more to make sure that there's a uniform size. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that you don't have problem when it's time to fry them when mm-hmm. they're uniform. And then like some of them have to be taken out early, some have to stay in for longer. Yeah. And then none of them get burnt. When I was uh, learning how to roll lumpia, actually, I measured <laughs> with a spoon. Yeah, the handle of this spoon <laughs> is what I used to measure the size. I don't think I'm going to need to do that. You can do that as you learn. Because mm-hmm. that seems uh, really difficult to do, like mm-hmm. taking a spoon and measuring it. But you're really doing great. This is your first time. And I am. Look, it's getting perfect. <laughs> Oops. Oops, I forgot to put the egg. Yeah, the sealant. <laughs> sealant. Well, it's easy to say yeah. it that way. Well, it's easier to say that than egg wash. And then show your product. Yep. That is one of my most Beautiful. perfect ones. Yes. Yes. It's time And now to... it's time to fry with peanut oil. Peanut oil is one of the healthier oils because it doesn't get greasy and stuck onto the food. Yes. I love using peanut oil for frying. Mm-hmm. Deep frying. 
And then you don't get that really, like, really oily taste when you're eating yeah. it. You can add a little bit more. Okay. Because yes. I love, I love it deep fried. Uh huh. Make the wrapper crunchy. Yes, the wrapper being crunchy is awesome. Mm -hmm. Now it's time to heat up the oil. Uh, that is ready. Yeah, test the oil before yeah. you put the lumpia. Yeah, otherwise it'll be weird and be soggy. Careful. Yep, I'm being careful. Slowly drop. Yep. Them. Yep, like that. Yeah. Okay. Want to get born with You don't want to oil. just straight up drop it. Ah, oh, that was an accident. Yes, I told you. Sometimes Safety. it happens as an accident. <laughs> yeah. I did not intentionally do that. Safety is very important. Yep. And considering the fact that oil can like really splash, mm -hmm. that could go into my eye. Yeah, and that wouldn't mm -hmm. be good. That could cause really serious harm to my eyes. You pay attention to what you're doing, okay? Okay, I'm paying attention. There you go. Ooh, they... Ooh, it looks like it's frying so good. Yes. Now it's time to turn them over so that they get evenly cooked. Yes, and you have to pay attention. Yeah, I'm paying attention. Yeah, they might burn. Mm -hmm, we, especially to the color. Yeah, because we, golden we, brown is going to be yeah, perfect. Yeah, we want them golden brown. Golden brown is always the key to everything. Yeah, and I think they're almost ready. Okay. Time to take them out. Okay, just like give them a minute. Yeah. Some of them seem a little bit pale. It's perfect now. Okay. And now it's time to take them out. That's the color we want. Yep. And notice how they're not oily. Yes, peanut oil mm -hmm. is really good for deep frying. And like then it like drips off. Mm -hmm. And that's what we have that tray for. To make sure that the oil drips off. Yeah, show what you made. The first okay. one. Can you find it? Yeah, I found it. This is the first one that I rolled. Looks good. For the first time. Yeah, considering that it's your first time to, to roll them and show And that them. is my most perfect time. Oh, is that the one you're trying mm -hmm. to show? Here's the final product now, guys, and what they look like on the inside. Taste it. Okay. I'm going to dip it in my ploy. But can we show it first? Yes. Okay. Cook good. Yeah, it's like really cooked. Taste it. Mmm. Salamat po sa suporta.